it's we need to start preparing for the day when most people are going to be engaging with the kind of software and services that we produce on their mobile devices. Are we ready for the future of everyone having a mobile device? An Intuit leader weighs in. And when those questions change, the answers get unlocked to new opportunities and directions. Feeling locked out of innovation? We'll help you find the key. Coming up on This Week at Intuit. Well, hello there, and welcome to This Week at Intuit for June 11th, 2012. I'm Scott Kapliner. And I'm Holly Perez. Topping our headlines, QuickBooks Point of Sale 2013 has arrived and now integrates with GoPayment, liberating the nation's 2.8 million small retailers to maximize sales both in and out of the store. This is QuickBooks Point of Sale. It does some amazing things that will help you make better decisions for your retail business. Sales and inventory data from GoPayment integrates with QuickBooks Point of Sale, storing all current sales and inventory data in one spot. Users can also automatically populate inventory items within QuickBooks Point of Sale into the GoPayment app, eliminating the need to do it manually. For more, visit pointofsale.intuit.com. What does it take to lead a team here at Intuit? Well, we sat down with Stoyan Kenderov, who leads our mobile team, and here's what he has to say about the future of mobile and what inspires him to go to work every day. I'm an engineer and I've always been interested in, in gadgetry. I always want to know what's happening inside gadgets and what gadgets can be used for, um, what kind of problems we can solve with those. The world is switching from one computing platform to another. So over the last 20, 30 years we have switched from mini computers to personal computers and now we're experiencing the biggest shift possibly in human history to the biggest mobile platform. And with that, we need to start preparing for the day when most people are going to be engaging with, with the kind of software and services that we produce on their mobile devices. The mobile community is a fun community to be with, let me tell you. Uh, these are incredibly smart people, um, very ambitious, very dedicated, and, and mobile being this new aspiration of the company, uh, this community has the sense that they're leading into, it, into its future. Uh, so being part of that is just amazing. So at Intuit, I lead a global team that helps all of our business units bring mobile applications to market faster in a better way. It's the people that we work with, it's the ideas that we that we get to form and and shape and exchange. It's the the rapid pace of creating new things. Uh, it's the it's this culture of innovation that Scott Cook and Brad um, are touting around the company. Uh, seeing that happen is absolutely inspiring. As part of our ongoing series, Innovators Exchange, Hal Gregerson, co-author of The Innovator's DNA, shares one tip on becoming a better innovator. Take a look. And one of the things we often do is suggest, take just four minutes a day. Maybe I've got a problem I'm working on. Take four minutes a day for the next seven days. Write down nothing but questions about the problem. And even though those questions are there in our head, when we put them down on paper or on an iPad or whatever the, the, the mechanism is, we start seeing patterns in the questions. And when those patterns surface, we realize, you know, these questions are not getting me where I want to go. And then we keep doing this four minutes a day for seven days, 14 days. You can easily envision in your own mind the questions changing. Mm -hmm. And when those questions change, the answers get unlocked to new opportunities and directions. You can check out all episodes of Innovators Exchange here on the Intuit Network. For 16 years, the American Heart Association has been raising money for research, education, and advocacy here in Silicon Valley. And at the nonprofit's recent Silicon Valley Heart Ball, chaired by Intuit CEO Brad Smith, they raised nearly $900,000. That's almost double the amount raised in 2011 and the most funds ever raised by this Silicon Valley event. Smith promised attendees he would do the moonwalk if the fundraiser hit $1 million. Well, the target wasn't hit, but Smith moonwalked anyway, without the sequin glove. Learn more about the American Heart Association at heart.org. 
As Intuit expands outside the United States, the company is hiring a manager in corporate development for its global business division. Position will evaluate M&A opportunities, investigate and test strategic opportunities, and design and conduct qualitative research and analyses. Are you global savvy? Apply online at IntuitCareers.com. Well, I don't wear jewelry, but if I did, I'd wear Lulu Red Star. You know, they're the finest purveyors of repurposed jewelry, vintage pieces, and architectural objects. They also use GoPayment, and that makes them our Intuit Customer of the Week. Why don't you head over to the Servant Customers channel and read all about them here on the Intuit Network. <laughs> I'd actually love to see you in jewelry, by the way. <laughs> oh, this old surf watch doesn't really count, I figure. It's just, it's really practical, but... Actually, not so more. I'm not surfing much. But hey, I digress. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching. I'm Scott Kapliner. And I'm Holly Perez. Have a great week.